Hi, I'm Malcolm here. In this video diary, I'm going to deal with something not uh, about painting this time, but a uh, question I get asked quite a, a lot by other artists, and that is how they should go about selling paintings. many um, potential ways to sell paintings. I think the fundamental thing to remember though is that uh, selling paintings is not an easy thing to do and uh, especially now um, if you for example um, in South Africa it's a relatively small market and um, it's tough to turn that into a regular uh, paying business but it is possible and it requires a an approach that um, it must be focused on business uh, there's your artist side and your creative side and then there's the business and if the two are not uh, working together um, it's not going to work uh, it's not going to work as a business and so the first um, thought that uh, artists have it seems is to try and get into a gallery as quickly as possible and the traditional route of uh, producing paintings and getting into a gallery is still uh, first and foremost in, in a lot of people's minds and uh, a gallery is a good thing but to Getting into a gallery means getting into a good gallery that has a good established record, is well situated and is financially secure and uh, can bring in the traffic. Where a gallery is situated is very important. So you as an artist need to assess the gallery as well. That is, of course, if your art is uh, suitable for that particular gallery. Most um, artists are uh, in a stage where they're building up their painting skills and are not quite ready to be in a gallery. There are very few gal galleries that are um, financially successful at the moment and, and that is the harsh fact. Um, but there are many more artists and a considerable amount of paintings that need to be hung on a gallery wall. So and, you know, there's a practical problem. So this is not to discourage you to look for a gallery if that's the route you want to take, but it is only one route and in my personal experience I have sold more paintings through my own efforts than through galleries and I think if you take on the challenge of developing your own business as an artist you will be able to sell more paintings yourself than a gallery will and that is simply because you have the focus and the desire to sell your paintings a gallery has to try and sell many artists' paintings and the gallery's focus is to simply sell paintings. Not your painting, but any painting in the gallery or any other work of art that it may be keeping. The gallery has to be focused on its own overheads and its own business interests. So that just is there to illustrate the importance of having your own uh, business plan and your own approach to selling paintings and um, I'm going to have a look at a few ways you can uh, sell your own work over the next um, few months or so. Number one I'm going to be saying that you need to have your own uh, internet presence whether you make that your main emphasis or not, that's up to you. Um, but step number one is that you're going to have to investigate um, getting your paintings in front of the correct target market 
and uh, doing that online in a targeted way is really the only way to go about it. The internet is a huge, huge place and you can get lost in it very easily. There's simply no point in putting paintings onto a website and forgetting about it. Uh, that's just not going to work. Um, there's also no point in simply putting paintings on a social media channel, although that is better, but in itself that is not going to help you either. There's a whole um, series of steps that need to be taken to make a success of selling paintings online. And you need to be committed to that because half measures are not going to get you the results you need. If the thought of all of that is um, impossible to, for you to uh, get involved in and, and you're simply not interested in that, then um, trying to sell your paintings on an existing online gallery may be an option. There are some very good ones. Uh, hosted particularly American sites that might be the answer for you um, but uh, if you're selling to a local market um, in South Africa for instance you're going to have to um, make an effort to do that yourself. If you want to investigate the uh, setting up your own uh, approach to uh, online sales, then um, have a look at the resources I've put uh, below this video and uh, particularly the issue of content marketing, something I've written about and produced a book and a short uh, course as well that you can try out and uh, see if it's for you. So uh, hopefully um, in the next uh, few months I'll be able to add more on this topic which might be helpful to you as well.